How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got another live performance from Ginger today. This is who's gonna be the one. I really enjoyed listening to this band live because Perennial and uh, Pit of Consciousness blew my freaking mind. So let's dive into the reaction. Once again, thank you to my patrons. I appreciate you guys' support. Uh, the rest of you, if you'd like to support the channel, there are two tiers. There's a $1 tier if you just want to support, or a $5 tier if you want access to some tasty content. Uh, for instance, this week I'm going to be doing an album review, full album reaction and review of Bill Murray's. Well, so far the poll says Eggy Pocket, so it might just be Eggy Pocket. So uh, join the Patreon, support the channel. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. But let's dive into some Ginger Live. I don't know where they're performing, but you know, it is. It is what it is. Let's go. Who is going to be the one? Ooh, starting off strong. Ooh, such a great balance between the bass and the guitars. Oh, oh we tapping. God damn. I was just saying who was going to be the one. Okay. Oh. Is that a Tom and Jerry t-shirt? Love it. Oh, this is... Oh, shit. This is Heavy Lamb of God vibes right here. That is such a Lamb of God thing to do. Oh, switch up. Great vibe, man. Great vibe. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I just noticed. <laughs> A sock says six, six, six. I'm sorry, is she performing without the Ineos? Wow. Oh. 
God damn, that is heavy as shit. Brilliant. Brilliant. What? 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 Whoa! <laughs> How do you just change the vibe of the song like that? Oh, that's deep. That is funky. That was smooth as fuck. How do you, what? That song went all over the place in the best way. How do you just change up the vibe of the song and give us that bluesy, jazzy? Oh, that was brilliant. I mean, I picked up on the lyrics in the end. She was saying, don't deny the past you've lived. Don't neglect the future you have. That's deep, but let's dive into these lyrics. I want to see what this song's about. Who is going to be the one? All right, we got the lyrics. So, starting off pretty heavy in the lyrics. Who's going to who's going to remember what the sun is? Who's going to keep on counting? Here's another disease. Who's the one? Who's the man? Who's got the power to prolong for a second his final hour? Oh. This is some dystopian shit. Okay. And then who's going to be the one kind of repeated. I love that. That was vibey as hell. Who will recognize his mother's face without the protective mask that she wears? Is there anyone who will find a reply to the question, what does the water taste like? Yo, excuse me. When was this song made? It should say right here. Oh, yeah. It says right here. May 1st, 2014. Is that when the song was released? Because this song is topical. Like of the last few years. Don't you think? There are, so, there are so few songs that stand the test of time that are topical even 30 years, 20 years, however long after the fact. And I feel like this song is like that. Because, this, I mean, this speaks to like a very dystopian, very, I mean, not, not necessarily specifically a pandemic, but just post-apocalyptic. Like, who's going to remember what the sun is? Who's going to keep on counting? Here's another disease. Who's the one? Who's the man? Who's got the power to prolong for a second his final hour? So basically she's saying when the world by and large is fucked, who's going to be that person to stand up and say enough, right? Who's got the power to prolong for a second his final hour? Who's going to remember what the sun is? Who's keeping track of these things? Who's going to be the one? Who's, who will recognize his mother's face without the protective mask that she wears? So yeah, in a world where like in a war-torn country this band being from ukraine pretty topical for what's happening over there but like you know when the streets are filled with dust and gas and just a myriad of just diseases and you have to wear a mask and even in the pandemic like everyone wore a mask are you going to recognize their face without the mask you know is there anyone who'll find a reply to the question what does the water taste like so like you go for so long, you know, when you live your entire life wearing a mask, whether it's a gas mask, whether it's a, you know, the N95 shit, if you go so long wearing a mask, when you take it off, are you going to re recognize the person underneath? That's what he's saying. And she's driving the point home by saying who will recognize his mother's face. So like if you're born into a world like this and all you know of your mother is the mask that she wears, are you going to recognize when she takes it off? Who will be the one who cares? Who's the daredevil to protest? Come on, you motherfucker. Step above the crowd. Raise your fist in the air and shout out loud. Which is a great thing to shout live when you play this song. But yeah, this is basically when the world is screwed up. Who's going to be the person that's going to say enough? You know? Stop, stop fucking us over, basically. This is, yeah, quite a top of the song. As long as mankind fucks around, mankind will find out. That's... This song will last. It, it can be about war. It can be about disease. It can be about apocalypse, post-apocalypse. You know, it's quite topical. 
Don't step aside, fight back with full force, pick up the weapon of your own choice. Don't you just step aside. Yeah. And then at the end, she's like, don't deny the past you live, don't neglect the future you have. So like, do something about it. You know, are we a species of bystanders, basically? Right? She's asking, like, are we gonna be just standing by and let everything get fucked over? No. Don't deny the past you've lived. Don't forget where you came from, right? And don't neglect the future you have. If you want to protect your own future or your children's future or whatever, do something about it. Pick up that weapon, fight back. Weapon doesn't have to be a gun or a knife or anything. It can just be even your words. But say something, do something. Prevent the world from being screwed up. That's heavy song, dude. Heavy song. From the album Cloud Factory. I think I might just fuck around and dive into an album reaction of this. This, this, this is one of those songs that will stand the test of time. As long as mankind screws itself over, basically. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the reaction. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Uh, leave me some more suggestions of ginger songs to react to. And uh, join the Patreon if you like exclusive content, if you like album reaction and reviews. I'm going to be doing Bill Murray this week. So that's going to be fun. Um, it's definitely a strange musical project band i don't know it's one guy is it another uh, whatever but it's definitely something different and i'm excited to jump into it so consider joining the patreon consider supporting the channel and uh that's gonna do it for me you'll have a good one take care and bye bye